Hey guys, welcome to another commentary done by Diggity. Bottom left hand corner, we have Terran Low, aka Loco Cito. I feel bad from the previous match. I was like, so we just had Doodle versus so. Upper right hand corner, we have Doodle starting as the Great Protoss. So it is Doodle versus Loco Cito in a best of five. We're going to start off on Circuit Breaker. Both these guys looked very sharp in earlier stages. Doodle playing ferociously. Loco Cito, though, also playing very, very strong. And I feel like his Vulture Micro has been fantastic in particular. What lifted him in the previous series TVT. I'm low-key rooting for Loco Cito a little bit. Not because I don't like Doodle, but mostly because I don't want another PvP final. <laughs> I prefer I prefer having it being a mixed mixed match thing. So forgive me if I'm uh I, I should root for Doodle regardless, and Doodle was one of the players I could I, I said that I could see in the finals otherwise. Although at this stage I'm wondering actually if Loco Cito We'll take it. Regardless, uh, good luck to both players. <laughs> on Circuit Breaker, commenting on the turn rate, large natural expansion, ramps, like so, and I feel like it's a decent Terran map because you can grab a third, and ha if you want to play the more macro-oriented style, you can go for that third without too much trouble. At cross-map positions, It'll be a little bit more challenging to execute rushes. I know a lot of mostly mostly once that army, if it decides to go for the three base play and move out, you can see once it moves into the open field, you can start engaging from multiple angles. And that makes it a lot easier for Protoss rather than having that vertical lane where uh, of engagement where they can have split dragoons or even have an arbiter at that stage come in from an odd angle and avoid the Goliaths, etc. etc. So it might be a little bit of a but I, I feel like it's a one of those things where it's favorable at certain stages of the match is unfavorable at others for reasons here. Early game commentary talk. Going to see three SCV in gas to start. Barracks completing. Locosita moving that SCV out. We had a much more rapid worker scout from Doodle. Have that cybernetic score building along that back edge. He's going to find the base somewhat earlier before there's a Marine to usher him out is going to be able to confirm that there's only a single SCV on gas, so usually means you're not going up against a two-factory play. More likely than not, you're going to see just that single factory vulture into expand. Actually, the probe was thinking about trying to stay in the base, still thinking about trying to stay in the base after getting that information. Factory on the way. We do have an initial zealot running cross-map. That was scouted. Two additional marines being produced help deal with that. Probe dedicated to attack that SCV a bit. First Dragoon constructed no range as of yet from Doodle. So holding that gas for the moment. And I'm not sure if this is just a mistake on his part or he wants to get more Dragoons more rapidly or if he's thinking about doing some sort of creative tech build to follow this up. He's already got a probe in position to maybe grab that natural expansion. It could be he's just saving the resources yeah for that natural Wants to get that natural before the, the range upgrade. SCV pocketing itself at the 3 o'clock location. Try to deny information. And it looks like we are going to see a second... Fa so, SCV back on gas. And we're seeing a machine shop and a second factory from Locosito. Right now, Doodle doesn't have the information to absolutely confirm that this isn't a natural. Might be able to shove up with the Zealot against these two SCVs. But if he sees this fifth marine that's now being produced, he'll know that it's going to be some sort of push. Fortunately, without a second gateway, it's a robotics facility being dropped. This is going to be a difficult defend, though, for Doodle, who skipped that Dragoon, skipped range as well. I believe this is going to be the, that three tank, five marine sort of play. The marine's initially pushing out and then seeding the ground that's actually even going to sell this further because it's like oh you're rushing down to try to take control of our natural expansion and actuality psych so five marines have been constructed doodle isn't pressing in to discover that first tank out is it just going to be yeah it's going to be the three tank five marine play upon seeing those five marines doodle should exit yeah immediately and it looks like locosito is going to be hot on the trail doodle re-engaging again wanting to confirm but as soon as those two tanks are out, you're going to see just the vulture pressure in play from there. Natural expansion up. 
second gateway. We do have that robo up, but I think this is going to be observatory rather than robotics facility. It's going to be a very powerful push. One problem for Locosito is that it is at cross positions. And that might have even thrown Doodle off the scent because he's thinking, okay, cross positions, potentially not a legitimate uh, threat, even though that there's five Marines out on the field. A Dragoon going to be staggered warning here. Now sees that attack incoming. Nice reaction timing on Doodle's part. But my concern is, is that he's not going to have the raw troop count nor the upgrades to help fight this off. He's going to have to pull probes at the very least. SCV wandering in. Able to get some confirmation. The one advantage for Doodle will be this ramp area. If he can box, if he can get an engagement there, Loco Cito actually recognizing the problem already. Skipping is going to go the long way around. And that actually is going to give a positive angle of attack for him versus these Dragoons. Shield battery up. I think Doodle recognizing they're not coming across the ramp, so repositioning the Dragoons to get better spread. Love that play. The Vulture is now wandering in from the left. Trying to get the mine placement. The Zealot going for a mine drag. And the Marines a little bit distracted, engaging that shield battery. Nice defense thus far from Doodle. More Vultures wandering up. And thus far, Doodle has managed to basically isolate nearly every troop. The Marines are gone. A mine has not been placed in a Dragoon's face yet. And he's lost zero probes. This is trouble time for Locosito. This defense has been fantastic and part of it i want to blame just the distance to cover but i also want to give credit to doodle where he's just the engagements were fantastic so that's going to be three siege tanks lost to start a single vulture does migrate through locosito is very deadly with those vultures but it, so at least he's going to get some probe kills a bit of a no the probes defending themselves one probe kill right there more vultures trying to press in to make the best of a bad situation but again, Doodle able to stomp it, and wow, what a defense. Now that command center being built, but this is at a huge deficit. Massive amount of mech lost. Doodle has two bases that really only cost him, what, a shield battery? Big supply lead. Usually the supply lead you want at mid-game for Protoss, and here he's already 20 supply ahead, can easily go ahead and one thing is, is it might be a little bit more challenging to secure a quick third just because how exposed it is to the vultures and maybe with some follow-up vulture harassment. Nice pick off by Locosito. That was a probe that was trying to make its way up. So doing the best of a bad situation, trying to negate Doodle's ability to grab that additional base. Is he going to sneak in and get another probe? That would have been bonus. Not quite able to find it. And that probe going to hide. That's just shivering. <laughs> is scared now. The, the Vulture is going to retreat back to home base. We have two tanks back out on the front. Command center finally constructed. A third factory on the way. And an armory just constructing. This is going to be a very late plus one weapons as well. So Doodle's not going to have to worry about a lot of problems that are typical Protoss problems. Getting that shuttle speed. Has a Reaver on the way. Already has good amount of observers and if he goes for a follow-up harassment i could see it being very very beneficial let's see if some additional siege we do have some more siege tanks taking the front so four siege tanks usually having a good number of siege tanks can help deal with that reaver harass a bit and doodle look at this so he's got one nexus already in construction is not pulling off the break at all is going to go ahead and grab that 12 o'clock location has a pylon blockade and Dragoon's up on that high ground to sec secure a quick fourth. I love the recognition. And I think it's going to play it pay off. So do nice mine placement is going to spot that shuttle as it's making its way across. Looks like the vultures are not going to trail it. Engineering bay up. No turrets in place as of yet. And the turrets not being constructed. Not going to be much of a factor. Especially with speed. Depend well, if... Doodle makes an angle, it might be some problem. So that missile turret still going to be in construction in theory yeah, by the time that shuttle makes it way around. So that's going to cause additional economic damage at the natural expansion. Woo! And the turret gone for only what? A fraction of shield left? Two Goliaths now pressing up. 
but all of this lost mining time is just bonus. And that continued threat is forcing more turrets out. So an already bad economic situation is getting even worse. We do have a forward turret to help deal with DTs and whatnot. But look at this. Doodle already... All right, that 53 worker count to 39 at the 10-minute mark. And he's going to have four Nexuses pumping. He's already well-saturated that third. And he's pretty quickly going to be able to saturate that fourth. And I would love to see him draw in. It looks like I missed a bit of an engagement. I think it just peeked in, peeked right back out. Yeah, plus one weapons is going to be finished usually when you wanted to be going out for some sort of push to engage against your opponent. Big unit advantage. Second shuttle going to join the composition out on the front. One problem for Doodle, though, is he doesn't have a lot of gateways or other tech that he's, he's got four nexuses and he should start producing off them. Needs some infrastructure to go ahead and capitalize on that lead. Starting to fill in that problem now. He can go ahead and go gateway man at this stage. Should he desire to, but really the, the world is his oyster. It's Templar archives, additional gateway. I do like the mine placement at least to take a view of the third. Some siege tanks engaging. The Zealots have landed. The Zealots can disrupt those Goliaths to allow the Reaver to get additional hits off. We do have that science facility being constructed. One shuttle with two Reavers now moving in, and the Siege Tank's having trouble getting across the SEV line. It looks like the Siege Tank's going to die alongside a group of SEVs, only a single shuttle being sacrificed, and more lost mining time. And this is, again, at a worker deficit. Accidental... Self-attack there on the commsat station as well. Locosito, I think, having some trouble and falling apart a little bit. Doodle playing in champion form. Ooh, I was going to say that. Going to go mind clearing here with his Dragoon attack force and provide a threat on the front. Massive lead. So if you deduct 20, that's still 100. Wow, 120 versus 78 even from that stage. Now he's filled in that gateway count, which means he's just going to be able to produce ad nauseum. And I think he recognizes he can throw some troops away. So starting to engage towards the front, there's only two siege tanks here. And with those shuttles that can potentially threat at additional locations, it's really going to tax Loco Cito's ability to defend. And I think he recognizes it, is trying to build a desperation command center and more turrets and additional turrets here out of necessity going to slow down his economy further is up getting that higher factory count but that might be optimistic as doodle's already in position to deny that third one thing i do not see yet is arbiter tech don't think it's necessary at this stage plus one weapons is pretty close to the plus one weapon upgrade comparatively we do have plus two plus one as far as a follow-up, but double the supply right now for Doodle. And I'm wondering if he's going to do kind of that Zealot press and then shuttle dive with the Reavers back at the main. He doesn't need to, is the thing, and that could be risky. Zealot and Probes pocketed at the three o'clock. Looks like he wants to grab some additional territory there. Loco Cito, I do, I've always loved his activity through this series. Moving these vultures out, that is going to benefit him immensely. Because yes, he's down some bases, but at the very least, he's going to be able to cycle out, maybe catch this probe, and deny what would have been yet another expansion from Doodle. Looks like the Zealot's going to wander around, claim some additional territory. I think that minefield might be sufficient to create a, a forward alert so Locosito can get some of these vultures, maybe to take down some of these exterior expansions. Now's the moment for Locosito to start making movements towards that third, unseaging from the high ground. And this is going to be a fight as well. Plus one weapons is going to finish just as this engagement starts. Oh, siege tank actually having some trouble making its way out on its own. The command center taking heavy fire for and actually nearly in the red. Doodle sweeping in is going to sit on the exterior of range, might be able to take out that turret. Certainly going to be able to take out some vultures. And this is further delay as a fifth base from Doodle and a sixth on the way. And he is already maxed out. He's maxed out at the 15 minute mark. Near double supply. This is starting to look like a pro replay from Doodle. This is the one you want to send with your resume. 
where you where it's like am i a starcraft player and am i good at this game you you throw the this you're like yes yeah, see here's here's my resume for doodle because he's controlling this match i like the drop follow-up from locosito as there is this pylon wall not a lot of reinforcements might be able to get sufficient damage done from this creating some chaos at other locations as well so spreading doodle thin doodle honestly might want to just exit entirely with this probe line and transfer them to some of his additional holdings even with this though yeah you got what a closer worker count at 70 to 57 but this is two base two bases comparative to actually is this still full yeah he's actually even pulled some probes off the main two bases versus a lot more than that <laughs> and more coming some zealots along that wing as well and locosito it feels like is seated and realized he just cannot take the low ground third even with the plus two weapons plus one armor kicking in plus one armor is now finished for doodle as well some more vultures sneaking out on the map but might be able to catch these probes that would be a, a nice win but they got a race and it doesn't look like they're going to win that race to bottom right so now locosito in a massive amount of trouble he's locked into two bases he's just gonna have to try to play from there and very quickly with that 200 200 supply doodle's gonna start throwing armies at him or going straight to carrier if he wants as a follow-up does have that uh weapons upgrade air upgrade maneuvering doodle falling asleep at the wheel a little bit maybe distracted by these vultures mid-map pulling back that command center still hasn't landed a few troops to the north getting taken out Result storming across. One question I do have is, is where is Doodle's army? Because this should be a near 200, and all I see is this on the map at the moment. Now crashing in. And again, these are units. He, even if he loses this engagement entirely, this is an engagement he can afford to lose. And if he takes out that command center on top of it, which he's doing a lot of concentrated fire, is denying that base further. Bottom right starting to saturate. Is it just in... Curious where it is. Looks like it's mostly at his natural. He's got some high Templar. He could also do some high Templar bombings at this stage. Just be a terrorist if he wanted to. Might have missed. I did miss it already. 12 kills on that high Templar. Oof. And he's still just sitting there. Waiting to storm yet again. We're going to wait right here for Doodle to realize that he's got yet another Psy Storm. We're just going to highlight that high Templar. And as soon as I see that energy expended, we're going to move right back to him. More action on that third. Not highlighting any other unit. Is Doodle going to realize that he's back there and can take a hit again? I don't... That command center looks like it might just die. Doodle has Locosito in shambles. High Templar watching like an overlord over the natural... That's actually put Locosito in the red. Brutal. Okay, I saw some movement of the High Templar. He recognizes it's there, right? We're still waiting. Might be my highlight of the match. Dragoon's actually moving out mid position. Come on, High Templar. Just building up more storm to make it even harder a hit. Some vultures able to wander out. Unfortunately, they're going to find nothing top left. Three o'clock location, fully mining. Additional comps at again, that High Templar. Come on, buddy. I have never rooted so hard for a High Templar to. Sidestorm an SCV line in my life. He's just been sitting in he's, he's been sitting in enemy territory for so long. What a spy! He's made friends with those SCVs, and he plans on murdering them. What a jerk! Nine o'clock location being constructed from Locosito as kind of a desperation rebuild. This is the narrative of the game now. The High Templar that lived, just biding his time. Little bit of bad uh, observer discipline there from Doodle. Not that it makes that much of a difference. Shuttle making its way across. He doesn't need to go for another shuttle drop, though. He's already got a High Templar waiting. So now, okay, he's going to drop there at the 9. Looks like a command center being built on the ground as Locosito able to get some position there. Not much of an attack force moving in, but wow, there's a big army moving behind it. I believe that High Templar is, is forgotten. Yeah, we're seeing some beautiful side storms on the front. The Zealot's already on top of the siege tanks. But the lone forgotten High Templar at the natural expansion 
there, like even his brethren able to get the, he, another one. Now we got two. Okay, this, he's a little bit more awake. And it looks like less less friendly. This guy's made friends with the enemy. This is like some some middle way of the Tao sort of action right here from this High Templar at the Natural. He has figured life out. We should all aspire to live life like this High Templar. Look at this. He's going to have full energy. And he's keeping it for himself. Forget the Protoss cause. He's come to grips with his enemy. Also, look at that SCV count. Just... And this is, again, without... Hit, without uh, we should name him. What's a good name for... Like, Gandhi doesn't feel fully appropriate. We'll just call him Mike. Mike. Mike's going to have full energy. Doesn't even need... Without Mike's participation, Doodle's still in firm control of this match. He's even getting the air weapon upgrades and... Going for a Stargate... Four Stargate follow-up. Locosito, I think, recognizing he's got such a pathetic worker count at this stage, he just needs to dive in and try to make something better of it. That opening game was rough on Locosito. Might be able to catch a lot of probes here and doing a lot of damage with this army. Level 3 weapons, level 2 armor, by the way. Unfortunately, it is also very light on the Goliath count. Actually, this kind of shows you and exposes just how rough a transition it is for Protoss that being this far ahead and having this many bases out you still get caught by a Terran pushout as you're trying to make a transition to carriers, even off four. I expect once that first carrier uh, reveals itself, that will be a GG from Locosito. At least he's getting some probe kills at the three clock. This is, uh, I think, a, an emotional victory. Some re Wow, that Reaver has 21 kills. Continuing to pelt the SCV lines right there. Yeah, this is a... Outside of this last engagement, this is an absolute... Highlight reel from Doodle. There are the carriers. I think Locosito wants to wipe out that Nexus and call it down half supply. Mike is now at full energy. And yeah, just gonna pick pick what's left of the siege tank line apart. Doodle has a waiting Nexus, bottom right, still at 50 workers. Trailing the siege tanks that are trying to make a push. I think Dark Templar are being built just because you gotta. You gotta. If you're you're Protoss, you gotta. There's GG. Rough game one for Locosito, but Mike prevails. He's the true winner of this match. The true winner. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, give a like, a subscribe. Share with a friend. I appreciate your viewership as always. Thank you for listening.